Welcome to Electron Online. In order not to be confused sometimes when we deal with polynomials of higher order, let's go and take a look and see what the typical terminology is that you might hear. So here we have what we call a fifth order polynomial. Here's the leading term. We have one, two, three, four, five, six terms. Here we have the leading term. We have the leading coefficient of the leading term. This leading coefficient will let you know whether or not the polynomial, when you graph it, opens upward or downward, if it's an even polynomial, or if it starts on the lower left corner, if it's an odd polynomial, or starts at the, low, the upper left corner, if it's an odd polynomial. You can see that we have coefficients on each of the terms, but the last coefficient is also called the constant term. It's just a simple number. We can also say that this is, the, this is degree 5, so this is degree 4, degree 3, and so forth, but in this case, since the leading coefficient, the leading, uh, I should say the leading term, has a 5 as an exponent over the variable, we can say this is degree 5 polynomial, or we can also say this is a polynomial of the fifth degree, or of a fifth degree. Anything else we should know here? No, I think I've covered it all. So those are the basic terminologies that we use when we deal with higher order polynomials. And hopefully that will help when we read our books and we try to work out the problems. And that's how it's done.